In this tutorial, we're going to do some simple mixing and panning in Cubase. Uh, we're going to see how individual channels are bussed to the master faders, uh, just like an analog mixing desk. Uh, and we'll also see how to create a stereo group bus to group channels together. I have here um, a Cubase project which has uh, three tracks and as you can see from their names uh, the first track is the sound of a stream, that's uh, some running water, there's a track with some bird song and another track with a guitar part on it. If I uh, press F3 I can see uh, the Cubase mixer which uh, as you can see it looks uh, rather like an analog mixing desk. We've got uh, three channels here which represent each of the three tracks that we've just seen in the other window um, and uh, we've also got a master fader uh, which will control the overall output levels. Um, if I solo the first track we'll be able to hear the sound of that running water like so. If I then solo the next track, we'll be able to hear what the bird song sounds like. And finally, if I select the guitar track, we can hear uh, what that sounds like. If I unsolo everything, we'll be able to hear the three of those uh, uh, channels playing together uh, and we'll be able to see that by moving this master fader I can control the overall uh, output level of the mix. All the way down to minus infinity dB and back up again. So the first thing um, we're going to do is uh, use these first two faders here uh, to achieve a balance uh, between the sound of the stream and the sound of the bird song. So the first thing I'm going to do is mute uh, the guitar channel because we don't want to hear that just now. And then I'm going to start the transport uh, playing and I'm going to adjust these two faders until I find the correct uh, balance uh, of mix that I would like. Okay, so um, I've adjusted uh, the level of the stream uh, uh, channel down to about minus 14 dB uh, and the bird song I've left at 0 dB and that sounds to me uh, like uh, the, the right kind of balance. Next thing uh, we're going to do is use uh, the pan controls on these two channels here uh, in order to pan the sound of the stream slightly to the left in the stereo field and the sound of the bird song slightly to the right so we'll get uh, a bit of a sense of a uh, stereo spatial image in there so uh, before i start playback i'm just going to move this pan control here over to the left this says l68 now uh, and this uh, pan control here i'll move over to the right so this now says right 68 and again, uh, this closely mimics the uh, uh, action of the pan controls on an analog mixing desk. If I now start the transport playing again, I'll be able to hear the sound of the stream uh, from the left uh, loudspeaker or headphone, and the sound of the bird song will be coming more from the right hand side. And obviously I can adjust these while the sound is playing and hear the sound moving around. Okay, so um, I've just uh, balanced these two channels here uh, in the mix and I've set up uh, pan levels 
for both of them. Uh, suppose now that I want to be able to control uh, the level of these two uh, channels in the mix uh, without adjusting these two faders separately. Uh, I can do that by creating uh, a group track, uh, which is what I'm going to do now. So returning to this window here, which is behind, I'm going to right click and choose Add Group Channel Track. Um, and now I get a dialog, which I'm just going to select OK, the default option. I now get this group track here. I return to the mixer by pressing F3 on the keyboard. I can see that there is now a group channel on the mixer here. Uh, I'm going to call that Soundscape, just so I know what that's going to be. Now, uh, these two channels here, notice that here uh, the output routing indicates that this channel is being bussed to stereo out, stereo out being the uh, master fader here, as is this channel here and the guitar as well. So all of these uh, channels are being bussed directly to the stereo uh, master bus. I can actually change that though, having just created another bus called Soundscape, I can click here and I can see that I now have Soundscape as an option. So on the stream channel and on the birdsong channel, I'm going to select the Soundscape bus. Now what that means is instead of sending these two mono channels directly to the master stereo output bus, I'm sending them both together to this Soundscape bus here, uh, which in turn is being sent to uh, the stereo output bus. If I now solo that group, you'll see that the two channels that I have just bussed to that group bus are also soloed automatically. If I start the playback, what we'll see is that the relative balance between these two uh, channels remains the same, as does the pan positions, and I can adjust the overall level of that submix by moving this group fader here. All the way down to minus infinity, and back up again. So I'm able to control the level of this group of channels with one fader whilst keeping their relative levels and pan settings the same. Okay, finally, uh, I'm going to unsolo this group bus. Uh, unmute the guitar part uh, and then what I'm going to do is adjust these two channel faders here in order to achieve uh, a balance between the soundscape uh, which remember comprises uh, the stream and the bird song uh, and the guitar <laughs> perhaps uh, panning the uh, guitar part off to the left there. And uh, of course, I can still uh, control the overall level of the mix by adjusting the fader on the master stereo bus. <laughs> 